Good morning. I'm Doe, and this morning I want you to look at a journal that I've made. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this is a cardstock cover. There are two sewn in signatures. This is an Artie Mays kit called Autumn Splendor. This is cardstock and some cheesecloth that I've coffee dyed. <coughs> well, I'm going to start coughing. I shouldn't have eaten my bar. Um, this is paper from the kit and a couple of tags that I've made and some extra paper here from one of the pages out of the kit for extra journaling. This is a journal page um, from Artie Mays' kit and I've put lines on the back of them for journaling. This is a pocket that is reclosable and it has paper in it for journaling and uh, this came from Carol of Crafty Emporium. Uh, Crafty Emporium Designs. Um, these leaves I'm very happy to have. They are a Tim Holtz design and I have the, the uh, it's a Sizzix thin, thin lits and it's just a lot of really nice leaves and they're throughout the journal. A tag. This one came from Pinterest. This is a, an Artie Mays journaling card. And this is a Martha Stewart punch. A nice journaling page. A book page. A, t a ticket that, this is an actual ticket that I've made a copy of and um, it's old and looks like this, and I think it's neat. It's from May 11th, 1992, and I think I bought a tricycle, an antique tricycle or something, and that was on it. Uh, this is a, a tag I made, and it's got a napkin on a book page. An envelope here from Artie Mays' kit. Um... These pages are so pretty, and the colors are just great, and uh, I, it's really hard for me to put anything on them, so I have a tendency to just leave them and enjoy them like they are. And some lines to journal. Tags that I've made. This one has a small pocket and a stamp, and um, this one is Embrace the Journey. I've got some little Tim Holtz names on them. The pocket is from the kit. Uh, this ledger page is from Carol's uh, Crafty Emporium also. Uh, I like the size of it. It fits in nicely into the journals. This is a, a kit page with lines, music paper, uh, a journaling card, and tags from the kit. Uh, this um, being named Doe, um, I like deer, and uh, this is a um, EK punch, and I just I just love it. So <laughs> it it made its way into this journal. I think of deer more in fall for some reason. And fall seems to be a favorite season for a lot of us. These are from the kit. And this little file folder is from the kit. Uh, this is a page that I printed off of Pinterest. And I love the leaf design. So I just used it as a little added interest here. And this is my little moose. Moose are another thing that I really enjoy. I like pictures of moose, so I ordered this punch, and of course it's so tiny you can barely see it, but I still think it's neat. Another page that I printed out of Pinterest, I like to use uh, 
some other papers in here to give it a little different color scheme. This is a flip out, some washi tape, a pocket made from paper, extra paper, and a nice journaling card. Um, a belly band made from one of the uh, postcards, I guess you'd say. And this is a notebook that I've made out of uh, part of the, the paper in the kit. Another kit page. And uh, I put the lines on the back, but look how pretty the paper is, <laughs> even uh, as using it for journaling. A uh, mason jar and some more pretty paper with fall leaves on it. And I put some lines on the back of it also for journaling. This is coffee dyed paper. Uh, in the middle here, this is a piece of uh, paper that I had in a kit and I probably had it 20 years ago. And it says, the splendor of autumn. And I thought, well, how fitting for it to go into this journal. And I've made the little leaves on the ends of the uh, cord. A, um, a nice postcard from the kit. And another nice big journaling card. And another beautiful image uh, journaling card. And a small uh, tag I made. And remember to play. And I put a small little pocket on it. Uh, this is a flip out, flip out, and flip out. So you've got a little more than just the normal little flip up for journaling. You've got enough room here to do a little more serious uh, journaling. This is a little card that I embossed with some uh, grasses, which I think you see such pretty colors in the grasses and another card I made. This is the other side of that paper. Another uh, page from the kit. A nice journaling page. Uh, this is a flip up, flip down. And I used a little piece of uh, paper here for great things take time. And this is a journaling card in the back of it. And the other side of that green paper, some more of the leaved paper. And this is the same as on the front. This is a, a pocket and a tag from Artie Mays' Autumn Splendor Kit. Um, just an odd little piece of paper for, for journaling and a tag that I did a rub on and I I really <laughs> like the little birds and a pocket made from the one of the pages a music page and I've stamped it with a pumpkin and on this side it also has a pumpkin another nice page for journaling and then it's it's just beautiful on this side and this is a little pocket that I also got from Crafty Emporium, and I have put it on the, uh, I don't know why I can't think of these things. I used them constantly. Uh, accounting page, uh, anyway. <laughs> and it has a small card inside for some journaling. Another tea dyed or coffee dyed page. Um, just a, a nice picture of a tree that uh, looks fallish to me. Some more paper that's just odd paper. The kit paper. Um, this is from Pinterest. This is a postcard that I reproduced. Um, and I cannot actually read the date, but it's like 1905. I have a lot of these that came from my husband's uh, mother, she, uh, and then some from my grandparents. 
that they just kept old postcards. This is a ticket that I got from Pinterest and an extra page and uh, a little leaf up here on the top from a stamp. Another one of those leaves that I acquired, the other side of that pocket, I took the end off so I could put a nice journaling page in here for uh, more journaling. Uh, I journal myself every day, every night, so I leave lots of pages for journaling. Another beautiful page, and that's the end of the first signature. Uh, there's a total of 124 pages in the two signatures. A additional page from the kit, and another autumn leaf page. Uh, I have a guest check that I've altered, and I put some leaves on it and a doily, and I made a little pocket from some lace, and I have a couple of small cards inside. This one says thankful, and this is more or less a postal. Um, a book page. Another page for journaling, another one of those little pockets, another journaling card, another journaling card, a small page. Uh, beautiful page from the kit, lines for journaling. Uh, this is the Martha Stewart uh, punch, and this is a small envelope with a journaling card inside. And that is the same image that's on the front. More lines, another tag that actually is a Pinterest find and a green, a nice green page. A this is a tag that I have made as a flip out so that you could actually uh, journal on the back of it very easily. Another one of these uh, accounting pages, ledger pages, and I have another stamp here that's a, a deer these are uh, from the kit, and I just left those two together as a tuck spot. And this was an idea that I, Chimmy, I believe, did a tutorial on this, and I thought it was a cute idea. Um, she puts it on the one page. It's part of an envelope, and then she covers it with uh, paper and makes it a pocket. And uh, just another way to use some of those envelopes that we get in junk mail. A uh, music page. And another one of my dear, some more leaves. Another beautiful page from the kit. And this is uh, a Pinterest find. I love pomegranates. And um, they're very good for you <laughs> and they certainly are the right color for the season um, this these both are from the kit this is the very last of this paper that I have and I just think it's I, I believe it is I might have one more page some more leaves this one says harvest happiness couple of more nice journaling cards for the center of the second signature. A nice page. You can uh, you can put a picture on here. I, I know it's coffee dye, but uh, maybe a copy that you've made. Line pages for, for uh, journaling. This one says Autumn Glory, and it's very definitely that. One of the tickets, that was just a little piece of paper uh, that is the same paper as on the outside. I shouldn't say paper, it's cardstock. And this one is cardstock also, and I've mounted one of uh, the postcards on this side. Some more music paper, some more, another leaf, uh, another small journaling card, and I put some lines on the back of it. <clears throat> An envelope, and the envelope does have paper inside and it even has some area here that you can journal on. Um, I put a pocket on this ledger page 
and put a small tag inside with a big nice leaf on it. Um, and it can be journaled on, some more journaling space, another flip out, another pocket, nice card for journaling. And I love sunflowers. So I had to put in at least one batch of sunflowers and that's a Pinterest picture. Uh, this is another altered guest check. I've got a small ticket um, mounted on a, a little tag and you could put a, a small journal on the back. Some more journaling paper. Another uh, tag that I found on Pinterest. And another beautiful page from the kit. A small journaling page. Another book page. Another beautiful tag and pocket. More journaling space. Throughout, I've got lots of journaling pages. And the last, one of my favorite things, the sunflowers. And this book belongs to and a tag that I've made and uh, ladybugs are another favorite of mine <laughs> and a nice piece of journaling paper. And on the back I've put a small little pocket. I didn't put anything on this tag. I need to do that. So uh, this is my autumn splendor journal and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was lots of fun to make. Thank you. Bye-bye.